Oh, shit. Load. Load, please. Can you load? Thank you. Hurry up. Now's not the time to be doing your little fancy twirling of the magazine. Dumb shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on uh, the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go out and explore the northern part of the map and do our next bounty. But before we do that, uh, we are sitting on a... Whoa, what the hell is that? A huge amount of caps, over 8,000. So I thought uh, maybe we would purchase some of these extra add-ons for the house and kind of see what those are about. Uh, because what else are we going to spend our money on, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's go to Misk here. And um, I, I think we'll hold off on the bobblehead display because we already kind of know what that's about. We may we may get it eventually. So let's try a floor decoration for 400. All right, and then, oh. Well, would you look at that? That's cool. Okay. That even added a jukebox. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and we have our own vending machine. What should I do with my Nuka? Do nothing, get some ice cold Nuka Cola. Nice. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll just leave those there for now. How do things look in here? Pretty snazzy. All right. I like it. Cool. <laughs> Look at these rugs. Oh, we got another fridge. Cooked food. All right. Did it do anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm digging it, man. Okay, let's uh let's try the next thing. Okay, let's do uh a static clutter. Now that you have purchased static clutter decorations, you can enable them by using the menu at the caravan radio. You can enable or disable the display of the clutter at any time. Okay. Uh, so how do we do that? Okay, wait a second. So this is the caravan radio. Oh, here we go. Okay, enable static clutter decoration. You must purchase furniture to place your decorations. Uh, but I thought furniture was a separate purchase. Wait. Yeah. It is. Okay. Let's purchase that. Oh, nice. It added a safe. And a chair and a couch. Some metal nightstand thing in my doodles. <laughs> Look at this. I'm digging it. We even have a kitchen table now, ladies and gents. I guess a makeshift anvil. Okay, that's cool. I'm digging it. I am digging it. All right, let's try the next thing. Hey, wait, is that new? That's new. I don't think those were there before. I think the shelves were, but not the ammo boxes. All right, so if I wanted to disable, say, this chair. Wait. 
What the hell? Wait a minute. Disable static clutter decoration. Okay, so one thing, one of the things that that does is it puts lights up. What is this thing? It almost looks like a holographic projector or something. Okay, so put a radio, some magazines, some books on the bed, the headboard. Oh, and bookshelves. Okay. So, okay, so if I turn this back off. All right, okay, so it removes all the books and all that stuff. Cool. All right, I like static clutter. Damn well better. We paid a lot of money for it. Some food on the table. What if it's, has it done anything up here? I haven't actually been up on this roof since we first started playing this game. Nope, doesn't look like it changed anything up here. Okay. What's next? Okay, so we have 5,500 caps now. Uh, let's do wall decorations. Oh, lagging out here. Don't take chances with pickups. Loose woman may be loaded with disease. <laughs> okay, as are loose men. Wow, this place is starting to come together nicely, isn't it? My goodness, look at that. We even have a top shelf. Slick. Okay, what's uh, here? What's in here? Okay, a couple more posters were put up in here. Nice. All right, what's the next thing? we got to have some fun like this every once in a while, guys. I mean, we can't spend all of our time killing things, just 98% of our time. Okay. Um, a follower. Uh, okay. So these things are god-awful expensive. Um... The thing about having, say, like a chemistry set or an infirmary dermal sculptor, which means probably we can change our appearance, is can we make stuff with that or, you know, without a high medicine skill? I don't know. I This might give us the soil we need down below in the hydroponics. So let's, let's throw down a shit ton of money on this and see what happens. Really lags out there for a minute. Okay. Note added garden supplies. Okay. Gardening, seriously? You want a pink lawn flamingo too? All right, all right. You paid me, so I'll tell you what I know. My cousin is a rivet city guard. She told me about this one night when she went into the muddy rudder for a drink after her shift, and one of the scientists from the hydroponics was in there getting drunk. They got chatting about work, and the lab code let slip that getting seeds wasn't the problem. They can buy seeds from scabbers or traders, anyone who would normally be foraging for food. The real problem is the soil. Even with wasteland plants being pretty tolerant to irradiated water, the earth will usually try to grow stuff in it. The earth they usually try to grow stuff in is too barren. No nutrients from organic breakdown or some shit like that. They had heard rumors of more fertile land somewhere far north in the wasteland, but the last scouts they sent out were never heard from again. Didn't hear much else. The scientists passed out. Okay, so you could try Rivet City. Sounds like the hydroponics eggheads might have seeds to spare, but if you ask me, this so-called oasis sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Don't waste your time, kid. This land is dead enough. I'll tell you that for free. 
Okay, so far north in the wasteland, somewhere. That's a bit vague. Do we have any kind of mapping on the map? Marking on the map? We don't. So I just paid 4,000 caps for that. You should be giving me a Home Depot's gardening center worth of soil for that much money. Son of a bitch. So, okay, show active quest notes. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Rumors of more fertile land somewhere far north in the wasteland. You could try Rivet City, but if you ask me, the so-called oasis. Yeah, we already got some seeds from Rivet City. Hydroponics. Hmm. All right, well, we were heading north anyway, so I guess we can see what happens. All right, what's left to purchase here? Man, this thing's like really lagging. Come on. There you go. Goodness gracious. Okay, so the follower bunk is 300. The chemistry shed is 990, 90, 90, 90, 99. And this thing is 2,500 coin. Um, I don't like the idea of spending that much money on this just to find out I can't do anything with it because I don't have high enough science, you know? So we might test that in the chemistry set. Test it by saving first, buying it, and then if it doesn't work, reloading kind of test. Uh, we can worry about a follower bunk, I guess, when we have a follower. Um, I don't, don't really give a shit about a snow globe display so much. And we could get the bobblehead display at some point as well. Um, but not a super high priority, and I don't want to run myself all the way out of caps. Why don't we buy this one now, though, just because uh, I'm curious to see what it looks like and where that's going to put it. And then that's all we're going to spend money on for the rest of this episode until we build that cash back up again. Come on. Give me my menu back. There you go. Thank you. All right. Where do they put it? Oh, right here. Okay. Fair enough. That thing's moving. Oh, wow, look at that. It moves. <gasps> Excuse me. Fan friggin' tastic. All right, guys, we are going north. Um, also, I'm switched things up with my weapons a little bit. Um, we're going to try this Marine Service rifle instead of the uh, mercenary machine gun we've been using. Now, the mercenary machine gun obviously does a shit ton more damage, but I just want to kind of mix things up a little bit. And I really liked this weapon, you know, when we found it, especially like the scope. And it's also very steady too. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to take this as our kind of mainstay weapon uh, for this time out. We still have the HK cause for the sniper and the sniper rifle. Those things will probably will never not carry with us. Uh, the snake lore is also, I think pretty much our best handgun. I mean, this guy does 186 DPS and, you know, 54 damage per shot. And it's silenced and it has a, a laser sight. The other options that we have in here are... Okay, hold on. Let's look at something here. Okay. So, wait a minute. Why does that say 203 down? Now it says 186. Hmm. I don't know. Something changes, obviously, when we equip it versus when it's just, you know, on its own. Anyway, the 44 uh, could be fun, but it's, uh, I don't think we have a silencer for it. So that's one problem. And also, the Snake Lore is, does quite a bit more damage, both in terms of DPS and per shot. This is a very modded 10 millimeter pistol, but even it's not, doesn't even close to Snake Lore. 
<clears throat> uh, Freedom's Wing doesn't come close. The Gunrunner's 9 mil. The Last Stand does come close. This is the... These are those dual-wheeled pistols that we found a long, long time ago. And they're kind of cool, but... Um... I don't... They're not moddable, and they're not quiet. And they... The two of them together don't do as much damage as the Snake Lore does. So... Yeah, I... I don't know. I would probably give these a try if they were silenced. But I'll... I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not. Let's just... What a, wait a minute, I thought I had 45s on me. Don't I have 45s on me? Yeah, I've got 45s on me. How come these aren't loaded? Oh, because I needed to change the pressure rounds. That's right. <laughs> they are pretty cool looking. What? Oh. I see. They're, they're really damaged, so it kept jamming on me. So kind of fun, but not silenced, and you know, that's not going to really help us when we need to be stealthy. So I think we'll pass on these. All right. So, uh, nope. Sorry, we want Snake Laura. We don't want Last Stand. All right, what else do we have? We've got a, we have a 14 millimeter pistol, but even this doesn't do as much damage as Snake Laura. Plus 14 millimeter ammo uh, is, is one of those kind of strange ammos. The Gunrunner's 44 doesn't do as much damage. The Scoped 44 doesn't do as much damage. And I, uh, it looks like that's it for our pistols. So, yeah, I think we're just going to keep using the Snake Lore. I mean, I love this pistol anyways. It's just, it's very powerful. It's very quiet. It looks badass with that kind of bronze finish on it. And we'll just keep using this. But we will try, you know, uh, we will try this Marine Service Rifle for uh for a while and uh have some fun with it okay so let's make sure that we have all the right ammo then i think i already checked that before i started the recording we're we you know we still have a decent amount of 308s but the thing is is those 308s go fast when we use that machine gun so i kind of like to build them up a little bit more um we're still taking 100 with us for the sniper rifle though okay so we have 192 pressure rounds for snake lore we've got about 400 rounds of 5.5s. Five Everything's armor-piercing, too, by the way. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say everything. I can't make armor-piercing ammo with 45s, so I, but pressure rounds are the next best thing. So we got those, and then I've got 19 pulse slugs and 150 normal slugs. Um, and I think we're good to go on ammunition. Okay, cool. So let's head on out, and our destination to start with is... Uh, the raider camp here, and then from there, I think we'll go it kind of, this looks like it could be maybe a town or something, so we'll go explore that really quick, and then maybe just kind of work our way across the north, and maybe see if we can discover something about this place that supposedly has the fertile soil, uh, and work our way, you know, kind of down and around to this Dickerson Tabernacle Chapel or something like that. So that is the plan. Okay, um... I think just to save some time. Grizzly Diner, Temple of the Union. Why don't we take the mole hole um, to the headquarters and then we'll go from there. So, cost me a little bit of coin, but I got money. I mean, God, we, <laughs> we just spent what? Over 6,000 coin. <coughs> Excuse me, on all that stuff. What do we got over here? Oh, stock off. I need some fix. doctor's bags, dude. Do you have any doctor's bags? Tell me what you need, and maybe I've got you your fix. Don't, but I'll take the splint from you. Damn. Seriously, need some doctor's bags. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't think we need you to repair anything. Let's look. Oh, yeah, we do need you to repair this. I accidentally sold my normal combat helmet, so I had to take one of the talons. Um, and everything else is good. Okay. See you next. Ew. Thirsty. 
We are wearing uh, the right our right armor, correct? Okay. Partner, try okay, where's this uh, as you would like to go? fast travel Purchase dude? Eight. All right, let's go to Regulator HQ. Very good. Is our bounty our active quest? Yes, it is. So we need to go this way. Let's do it. So aside from the, you know, the bounty quest, this is going to be just kind of another one of those explore exploring episodes without a specific quest or mission other than the bounty one. Uh, we will get back to those, though. Um, I need to... I still haven't figured out how to finish Moira's Crest and, you know, do the bonus part of it. So, not really sure what we're supposed to do there. I mean, she says ask around, but what does that mean exactly? Ask around where, you know? Oh shit. Scrap electronics, baby. That's what we like. Yes. Okay. Hey. Oh shit. Man, these guys are frightening. I had no idea he was even there. And I couldn't hear the combat music because of the rain. Ow! <laughs> Shit. Uh, all right. Take an antiseptic, a bandage, and an expired stim pack, and maybe a pack. A small med kit. Okay, that should be enough to get us all the way back. We want to go this direction. I think I actually went up there and checked that at one point, and there wasn't anything really there. A couple of very basic things to loot. What the hell's going on here? That looks like a raider. Yes, that is definitely a raider. What are they running from or to? That's what I'd like to know. Let's follow him and see what happens. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. And there are raiders up there. I don't know. Just some random raider. Okay. There's another molehole. Oh, that's the Temple of the Union. Okay, never mind. All right, we need to go this direction. Wonder if there's even anybody there anymore. Because, you know, all those guys moved to the Lincoln Memorial. Let's go up on this mountain here. Son of a bitch is so disguised, I didn't even see him until we were on top of him. Oh! Hmm. 
We've got two Yao Guais running that way. What are they doing? Alright, he's down. I didn't see where that other one went. I saw it running back off that way. So let's be mindful of him. Take the poison glands. I was going to say, where'd that other scorpion go? Okay, we got a crazy ass Yao Guai around here somewhere. We got to be on our guard. Load up some pulse slugs. Let's soften him up with a sniper round first. And he's down. Okay, we'll take all of that. Is that where we're going? Yep, so that's exactly where we're going. Alright, let's do a little bit of a survey here before we go traipsing down there. Okay, let's go. It's just about time for us to put our night vision on. We haven't even used this weapon yet. Oh shit. Is this whole place going to be irradiated? Greener pastures disposal site. No, I don't want to go through there. Let's get up on the road. You know, this game would be a bitch. Uh, well, when I say this game, this game with these mods that I have would be a bitch to play without night vision. Because, uh, you know, the Pip-Boy light is not very bright. And uh, it'd be tough. So that whole little valley there is just totally irradiated. Huh. Wonder what kind of nasty things are down there. Oh, shit, besides radiation. Where's that coming from? Right here. We're not being fired upon ourselves. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Oh, that's where we're actually heading. That's our destination. So they're fighting Scorps. And the Scorps got him. Okay.
Wouldn't that be funny if the scorpion did our work for us? Actually, would kind of suck because uh, we'd lose the XP for it, but whatever. Don't think I'm going to take that carbine. Defense submachine gun with mods. Okay, we're going to grab that and at least take a look at the mods. Got an easy safe. That Glock is in reasonably good condition. I guess we'll take it. Okay. This is 306 DPS. So we're 354, but if we take the mods off, it's now worth 114. So still worth some money. All right, we'll hang on to it for now. We're doing okay on weight. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, is this our destination or not? It sure seems like it, but I didn't see a boss. Maybe he's still... Oh, you know what? He's usually in some kind of an enclosed place, now that I think about it. So, let's look and see if there's like a sewer grade or something. Uh... No, it wouldn't be that place down there. Okay, we've discovered the raider camp. Hmm. Alright, let's look again. Maybe I missed the finger on one of these dudes. He doesn't have a finger. He doesn't have a finger. Scorpion doesn't have a finger. What the hell? There's got to be some enclosed place that I'm missing here. Because the other two bounties we've done so far had a, you know, a, an enclosed cell that we had to get inside of to kill the boss. Just where the hell is it at, though? It's like a secret... Fortunately, I heard the combat music that time. This rain is really loud, so it's not hard to hear. Oh, what the hell's going on over there? Raiders being dickheads. Take a look at the value on that 9mm. I don't think that 22 pistol is going to be worth much. 
None of those guys had the finger on them though either, so they must have just been some random raiders. Wasn't there another one we killed? Yeah, right here. Wait, what? That was weird. Okay. All right, let's go back over here and see if we can figure this out. We opened the safe. I don't see any... Place to go. I mean, is it possible that that's the place? It's just that if you look at the map, that house is right about here. It's nowhere near the raider camp. Plus, we might get irradiated if we go down there. Let's just see what happens, I guess. What's over there? Agility bobblehead, nice. Insta mash. What does that beeping mean? All the riches in the scrap metal. We can't open the safe. Bottle cap mine. Uh, sure, we'll take some whiskey. That metal armor is going to be heavy as fuck, and it's not in that great a shape, so I think we'll leave it. We can't get into that terminal. All right, well, this is obviously not the place, so let's get out of here. None of those guys say boss, and none of them have a finger on them. Not the kind, not the right kind of finger, the one we need for the quest turn in. So, yeah, I guess we're going to call this one a bust, because I don't know what else to do. That sucks. Is what it is. Okay, let's just continue working our way north. And uh, see what there is to see. At some point, we're going to hit the border, but that'll be a ways out. Hmm. Okay, so this area here seems to indicate... A town. Oh shit! I thought it was the Yao Guayat that was after us.
All right. Let's go over there and just see what what the deal is. Maybe the buildings haven't rendered in yet. All right, we got activity out here. Bloat flies and robots. And another Yao Guai right there. Okay, we want to be... especially mindful of the Yao Guai. Can we take him out first? He's kind of over a little bit of a hump there, so I can't quite see him. It's right around over in there somewhere. There he is. All right, he's down. We're in danger from something. I don't know what. Another Yao Guai. isn't the correct weapon to be using on him. Alright, we'll deal with the bot later. Let's take care of this guy first. And we don't want pulse slugs for a Yao Guai. Okay, let's go get the meat from you. We're in danger. What are we in danger from? Oh shit. Alright, so we've killed 30 Yaguai so far. We get the achievement when we get up to 50. There's something over here. Little camp. Good lord, they're all over the place. What's he doing? Okay, we're in danger. Don't know why. This rain kind of sucks, man. It just makes it harder to hear. I think I saw a safe here. Uh, okay, I guess we'll take that. Safe doesn't have anything in it. Flame refuel. Pre-war book. We'll take that. That's about it. We 
There's a barn up that way. Loaded up. Fresh meat. Did we get you? Yeah. Oh shit. My head's fucked up. Damn it. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat. Fuck. Call a doctor. Load. Please. Thank you. There's one more out here. Maybe? <sighs> We're definitely taking that adamantium next time we level. Auto revolver with a mod. Let's see what the mod is. That's a 44 mag. 10 millimeter SMG recoil compensator and a red dot. Nice. Okay. Oh, there is someone else out here. Thought there was. Where'd you go? I don't know where she went. Did she like chicken out and run away? Ooh, that metal armor is going to be worth some bank because it's in reasonably good shape. Yeah, 241 caps. We're actually only at 278 out of 385, so we're still doing okay on weight for the moment. I'd like to know where this raider went though. She must have run off. Okay, let's get uh, these off. Bandage, normal stim pack, blood pack. An AK-112 assault rifle. I don't think I've seen that yet. I'll have to check that out and see what it is. That's right, tear them apart. You bet. Do it. Tear them apart. Buff out. Scotch vodka. Tat stem back. That's it for in here. Pretty decent loot overall. What 
do we got over here? We'll take the motorcycle hand brake. How much is a coolant component worth? Because I... Uh, oh, not... Wait, what? Nothing. Eight? Wait. Did, did that say... Yeah, eight pounds for one cap. Like, just about the worst thing you can loot. All right. Doesn't appear to be anything up here. All right, let's take a look at this weapon. AK-112 assault rifle. Pretty nice rate of fire. What's it look like? What's its damage? 225 DPS. Not particularly impressive. And we're near as good as our marine service rifle. Is there anything in here? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing real significant anyway. Aside from gore. Okay, let's keep going north until we can't go north any further. We'll actually get to the border. It'll be the first time we've done that in this episode. Or in this series, rather. And in this episode. Just so we can say we did it. I don't have a doctor's bag, right? Nope. I don't. It sucks. Nice. Robots and scorpions. Sure seem to be a lot of robots around. See if we can nab some scrap electronics off this guy. Or scrap metal, we'll take that too. See an enemy that way. Oh, right there. All right, that's not good. He ran off. Here he comes. You cannot proceed in that direction. Okay, so we have reached the northernmost part of the map. There used to be mods, and for all in, for all I know, maybe I have it. It allowed you to go way beyond the edge of the map in these games. But it's not usually, aside from just satisfying your curiosity, there isn't usually anything out there. It just gets more and more barren, and then pretty soon you fall through the world kind of thing. 
All right, let's go to the east here. Did we kill the, these robots? No, I think the Scorp did. Or somebody did. Or something did. And didn't hear him. Oh shit! Load! Load, please! Can you load? Thank you. Hurry up! Now's not the time to be doing your little fancy twirling of the magazine. Dumb shit. Guess we looted all the guys. Uh, let's see. Restore 16 stops bleeding. Restore 19 stops bleeding. Solvital gives us damage resistance. What's the one that? Allows us to ignore effects. It's, uh... Medex Surrette. But it also takes strength away, which means we'll have more trouble carrying stuff. Fixer. No, that's addiction removal. Afterburner. Yeah, I don't know. Problem is, we start taking that shit, then we get addicted, and then it causes even more problems, you know? Just like in real life. Just like in real life. Okay, we got some houses here. there's anything there to loot. What is this place? Oh, okay, so that's what that is. That's a pretty big structure. <laughs> 